my friends so do you want to know how much time you should spend on preparing before you take action right so we're going to talk about how much time you should be spending before you actually take action and do things online how much time you should spend on learning and uh, taking notes and putting a plan in place all that we're going to cover that in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets so preparation versus taking action right so there's the to answer that question it's it's not that simple right because it, there's lots of things that lots of variables and I'm going to talk about the kinds of actions I've taken and how much time I took to prepare and uh, and you know whether you resonate with that or not but I mean leaders have different opinions on that but before we get into that I want to make sure that you're uh, that if you're listening to the audio of this that you can go check out the video and the blog post at cis 284.jsgagnon.com so go check that out so make sure you get to see the video because you know it's better video is better although audio is great because you can listen to it while you're listening on your car on your car and by the way if I, yeah so on the flip side of that if you're watching the video make sure you go subscribe to my youtube channel and like the facebook page and follow me and all these good things um but also you did you know that you can listen to this as an audio it's actually on iHeartRadio, on spotify on itunes on stitcher uh even on alexa and google podcast so you can actually find this uh series course income secrets right on all those audio platforms so go ahead and find that all right so let's get into that the preparation so today's going to be more about kind of a talk and the and more of I'm not there's not going to be too much uh, sharing screens or maybe I will show you some stuff but I'm not sure but the main idea here is I want to talk to you about preparation versus action and the reason I'm thinking about that is because I have a, a friend that's been that we've been kind of exchanging ideas with and you know she's great and she was telling me that maybe the reason I'm not getting results here and there is because I didn't prepare this enough and all that and you know she's right she's totally right preparation makes a huge difference in how much results you get right so the results you'll get will depend on how much preparation you do on the flip side of that is if you prepare and prepare and prepare you might never get to taking action because you know preparation you can always make it better right you can always prepare better you can always make things better you can always update the <laughs> the graphics the text the well, what we call copy right the copyright uh the text is a copy their copyright you can always improve that you can always improve the layout you can always improve your list you can improve everything uh and never take action right so there's there's a balance there and for me I'm on the extreme end of taking action before preparation right which has some downsides to it but it does have the benefit of getting into the the action and un, and learning some things that you wouldn't learn without taking action like for example if like me I'm doing these webinars every week right and they're not really giving me the results I want and that's mostly because my copy is not right my offer is not right my story is not right there's something that's not right right and because of that I'm not getting any necessarily results or at least not the results I want to get I'm not getting millions of sales right so the so for for somebody who's trying to build a brand online one of the things that you got to do is you got to be there you got to be online you got to be producing content you got to be available people have to be able to see you so they get to to know you and they they eventually like you and trust you right but if you're not taking action because you're preparing that'll take longer right however there's you know there's so much that you can do online that taking action could be it doesn't have to be certain things like for me like for example right now okay so this is the thing so let's just actually I will share my screen let me just go share the screen here I'll show you something what's going on right now uh if I go to say for example my Facebook group on oh, my computer's like give me a hard time here so if I go to my Facebook group so like I said I'm doing <laughs> webinars every single week right and one of the things is that I'm not getting those I'm not 
getting enough uh, people to actually register to the webinar I'm not getting people to uh, to buy as much as I want I'm not getting um you know I'm not I'm just not getting the results that I want to be getting right <clears throat> and the reason well I mean it's anybody's guess what the reason is right but I mean it definitely is one of the three things which are which is the whole thing right <laughs> there's the the hook story and the offer right that's one of the things that that uh, Russell Brunson talks about in his expert secrets book he talks about the hook story offer so it's got to be one of those three things my computer is still yeah it's still so one of those three things and what happens is if your hook isn't right right if your hook is your webinars when you're doing webinars you've got the webinar itself you've got the offer what happened to that something happened here uh, no no I don't uh, okay it's coming back okay so you have your hook which is you basically you know your um what people see when they go to the registration page maybe your ads if you have ads your hook is what will attract people and say oh I want to know about this but they don't really know what it is so that's where you got your rest going on you gotta have that hook right and then you have to have a story that is compelling enough for them to want to buy at the end and then you have to have an offer that is something that people want right so I mean without those three things you're not going to get a, re a good webinar and the hook story offer isn't just in webinars it's also in pretty much everything you do online you got to have the compelling story you have a an offer that, that people want and you know and that's all time who your audience is and whether they whether they they're interested in what you're offering right if you're offering I don't know if you're offering cat food to dog owners well they're not going to be interested they're not going to buy they're they're dog owners they don't care about cat food it's it doesn't matter how great your cat food is if you're offering it to dog owners you're not going to sell it right so it's not just about the offer but it's also who you're presenting it to you got to make sure your audience is set right the, the 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 people that you're attracting to you are people that are interested in what you've got to offer right so I'm not sure what's going on with my computer let me just see if I can't get this back here uh, I've got this 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 over here this one there it is there we go okay so yeah that's kind of weird but I mean I'm not surprised whenever I'm recording my computer d does this weird stuff let me see if I share the screen here if I go to my groups where's my groups it's very very it's very slow right now I'm not sure why but your hope your story your offer all those things, those things are important and you know you can spend a ton of time preparing your webinar making sure it's all perfect and I didn't do that so I didn't I didn't spend tons of time I just I I basically winged it because and the, and this is the thing right so when you're thinking about what to take action on is it more important to take action on making sure your thing is done right or should it be that you just go right on there you go online and you people start seeing who you are what you're about so there's a again that's there's there right? because if you if you basically are ready and you start to create content without being ready then maybe you're going to lose out on all these people that see your offer and they don't buy and they're basically lost forever right so you you're worried about losing these people that might have been customers right but at the same time you got to realize that there's millions of people out there there's billions of people out there and even if you lose a 10 20 50 customers it's really not going to make a difference in the grand scheme of thing what's important is for you to learn the skills for you to to you know in um abb in french it's, it's a you know I don't know how to say that in English it means getting all into it right getting into it getting it all sucking it in right becoming the expert is only going to happen if you take action if you do things right so for me I don't know what's going on with my this is not yeah so for me it's like what is it that that I need to take action I need to take action even though you know it's perfect I need to take action take action is how I'm going to learn right so that's kind of why I do it and I'm not saying you have to do that because you know you might have worries about certain things but I do recommend that you do take action take action on something start creating stuff don't 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 wait for for everything perfect. never be perfect and even if you're thinking like for me putting together a webinar every single week right? 
right I'm putting together webinar every single week it's not perfect I'm not getting the number of people I want on the on the uh on the live even people that visit their landing page there's not that I'm not getting that great I'm getting like three four percent registration rate which is low right you'd want to get a 10 to 50 percent <laughs> registration rate how do you do that you got to have a better offer a better message on your landing page right so I got to work on that but the thing is that I wouldn't necessarily know whether my landing page needed to be worked on unless I actually send people to it and get people to react because I could I could share it with other people I could have other people you know in this in my space uh, look at it and comment on it but that's not that simple to do. it's not that easy to get people to look at things and comment and tell you and what whatever even even if you were to ask your marketing friends to look at your offer right for their feedback they'll they'll give you great feedback I'm sure but they're still not necessarily well I guess they could be your target audience right if they are your target audience then that's great but maybe they're not maybe they're not your target audience so they don't really know what your target audience would do when they saw your offer they might have ideas they might suggest things that's why you do a b testing which again that's not something I'm doing yet why not doing all the things that I need to be doing that's 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 a good question right why am I not doing everything that I should be doing right what are the things I should be doing what I should be doing is writing copy that makes sense doing a b testing on my copies doing uh, uh asking my network my my affiliate or my online marketer friends for feedback uh taking the time to to actually write my webinar the, according to the whole perfect webinar framework spending hours and hours making sure it's right um and and making sure that my offer is is clear and people understand what my offer is and spending all this time doing all this stuff why am I not doing that right so that's one thing you have to ask yourself whenever you're trying to help somebody or coach somebody or or you're going to if you want to be a, a, a coach somebody who helps other people to get results the first thing you gotta ask is what do they want first right you got to know what they want you got to know how much time they have to dedicate to getting that right if they if they're not if they're not um if they don't have time like for me I've got I've got a day job I've got a family and I've got a website I'm building so the amount of time I have to actually do everything right is not very there's not very much time right I don't have a I don't have hours and hours to put together the perfect script and the perfect this and the perfect that so I could just say well you know what I'm not going to do it until it's right and oh you know let's not worry about my webinar but for me it's about taking the decision I'm going to say okay I'm doing these 52 webinars uh I there's a couple of weeks where I'm like well it's, there's nobody on in attendance there's nothing in attendance on my webinar I got two three registrations or something ridiculous like that right out of like 40 or 50 people that saw the registration page and I'm like well I guess I can see it. but then I think to myself you know what I decide I'm gonna do a webinar I know it's crappy and I still need to work a lot on the content I need to work on the capture page I need to work on everything I'm still gonna do a webinar right I'm gonna do it and I'm gonna get to the point where uh I, I improve things right and I'm getting feedback from my friends that's great I'm getting feedback telling you well, I'm not really sure what what is it you're offering uh, I I don't really get it uh what are you you know what's your message all things getting those kinds of feedback from some of my friends but at the same time it's like well are they really my audience maybe they are maybe they're not the point is getting feedback from other people probably isn't the it's not well I mean it's great I'm not saying to that that I don't uh, appreciate it and I do I think it's awesome but the thing is that there uh, you probably need feedback from more than two people right you need feedback from 10 20 30 uh, 50 100 people if you can before you really start to get a feel for what it is that you need to change right I could I could go and change things based on the feedback of one or two people and then I get other feedback from other people and they they haven't seen the first thing so maybe so it's really hard to but at the same time it's all about your time. how much I mean read me like I said I've got my data I got this I got that so I don't really have the time to um to do everything 
so and it's also based on what you chose to <laughs> to actually do right what did you what did you decide your focus was or what did you decide your actions are going to be for me I decided I'm going to be doing these daily videos right I'm doing these daily videos and I'm sharing them on all my social media content that's my main activity my main activity which I'm not saying is the best option because you know I could because I only have an hour or two a day I could do something else and not do that but for me it's about building my audience a bit about getting more and more people to know what like and trust me about growing my fan base and the best way to do that or one of the best ways I guess is to actually produce content you got to produce content and be, be omnipresent that's one of the ways to actually get to the point where you are visible and people start to know you people start to connect with you and start to get a feel for who you are right and that's kind of what I do right so I mean uh it's, it's a give and take right what are the what is it that that you you know do you do this or do you do that right what are what is it that you do right what is it is it create content or is it create things and not post it right post don't post you know take go out there be live don't be live right what is it that you do to to really get to the point where you're taking the action that you should be taking taking the action and like I said preparation right preparation you can prepare 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 you can prepare forever <laughs> right now my computer is really giving me a hard time um this is really uh I don't know why it's like this I wish there's st there's something going on on this computer that is not normal every once in a while when I'm doing something it like goes completely to a, a halt of really being slow and and if I look at the task manager there's nothing going on like there's no processes using up 100 percent cpu or anything like that I don't know if you're you're a bit of a geek like me but you know it's just it's I don't know I don't know what it is I'm gonna have to maybe format maybe I have a virus on here I don't know but anyways uh yeah so I can't share my screen right now because it's it's just not working um but yeah preparation versus action so you can take action right you can take action action preparation prepare action prepare action prepare action you can do all that like this right or you can take action 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 take action take action take action and then the little bit of time you have left you prepare some things but you're taking action all the time taking action is what is going to propel you I I really believe in that really believe in taking action just go and post just don't worry about being perfect don't worry about making sure you you're <laughs> you're doing the videos the right way making sure that I mean you know your makeup and your hair and everything is all great uh that's that's wonderful to make sure that's great <laughs> but at the same time people want to see the real you they don't they don't always want you to be perfect right and if you are perfect you don't seem real so you got to be not perfect sometimes for them to you know know that you're you're real right and so for me uh it's just about take like I, I just do the post I do the I do the video I record the video I post it and that's kind of the end of it right I just do it that's just all that's just I'm not saying that you don't prepare anything because you know I've been doing this for five years so certainly I did lots of things before that I prepared things I set up my Facebook account the right way I set up my LinkedIn account the right way I set up my Twitter I set up my Instagram I set up all my accounts I set up my uh, autoresponder I set up my email list I I created these ebooks like I mean this ebook here right that you might have seen before is is you know the 10 the 12 <coughs> I'm sorry the 12 critical steps to your online success right so that's an ebook I created I got five ebooks I actually created so that's kind of preparation but it's not because I I took action and I did this on the side until it was ready and then I posted it and even the 12 steps even this the 12 steps to your critical success I actually wrote the ebook I actually did this you see this you see this list that's behind me right here this list over here is the is kind of the 12 steps right I did that and then I did an episode on each of those steps I did a video and I just took action I I could have prepared this a lot better it's actually not not perfect that's not perfect this is this is not perfect right so I did that I took action I did the videos 
and then I put together uh um I wish I could share my screen there but I put together a, a site where you can actually get access to those 12 videos plus a couple more to see what what I went through just my process that I did to do this and then I created a workbook and I created a master class and all these extra things and that's kind of what I you know that I, that's I didn't really prepare that much except for the fact that I've been learning for four years right so you could do that too you could just take action and after four years <laughs> after four years you're going to know enough to do these kinds of things um so or you could just make sure you prepare things you get some coaching to actually do to do some preparation ahead of time and then create content and then post right which uh I don't know to me it's you're not going to get maybe same results if you try to prepare too much before you actually take action right but maybe I'm wrong maybe that is better um because some leaders do teach that they do teach to 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 you know take a lot more time to put together what what you're offering right so for example if if I look at the if I look at the ex, the expert secrets book right from Russell Brunson he's got a whole section in here on the perfect webinar the framework he's got you know uh, 10x story selling he's got, <laughs> he's got the perfect webinar right here right the 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 perfect webinar framework right over here he's got he's got the story the story uh, what do you call it see this is kind of this is totally insane I'm actually looking at this right now after going through the perfect webinar training even though I've listened to the audio of this book like 20 times probably right I never caught I never really I uh, when I put together my webinar which is the one I'm doing now I kind of based it on all this but there's parts in here that I kind of didn't notice right I didn't notice that he said well I mean I kind of I guess I did notice but it, but after going through the perfect webinar training that I just did that he just did last uh, last um uh Black Friday he did a perfect webinar a new version of the perfect webinar training where he actually takes an extra amount of time explaining the framework to teach frameworks even though he talks about it in here he doesn't really and he talks about yeah he kind of talks about the same thing he says that in the first 15 minutes the intro big domino and origin story the next 15 minutes the secret number one vehicle framework story then next 15 minutes secret number two the internal belief story <coughs> the next 15 minutes secret number three external belief story the last 30 minutes the stack and closes right but then he talks about how how it's not about a 15 minute per story it's about um at 10 percent or no what is it that would be 50 uh, 12 percent a 12 percent of your webinar should be your story so if you have 30 minutes it's just 15 five minutes each instead of if you have an hour or two right and he just says a percentage of the whole that you got to do and that's something that I never really caught on when I first did it right but he does talk about the framework to teach the framework in here even though I never really caught that he talks about that in here where he says <coughs> that you need the so the so the prep when I talk about preparation right I talk about going through something like this and then you know writing down everything in the in this in the in either on paper or in a in a pro, in a program online or whatever and uh and that's and that's the thing right the preparation is all in putting together the slides putting together the capture page putting to the, together maybe an ad putting together the emails that go out to people to register and people that miss the webinar all these different emails that you got to put together all the different content not on top of just doing the webinar on top of just presenting the webinar right so if you're if you're doing the webinar you need all those things but what if you didn't prepare them all what's gonna happen you're gonna get you're gonna get less results because you don't have all those pieces right but you're you're learning things that you wouldn't learn if you didn't take action like if if you if you wait till everything's done right all your uh capture page your um um your self-liquidated your slo right self-liquidating offer in your funnel for sign up your <clears throat> your emails that go out to your list 
to your emails that go to people who don't who miss the webinar the the actual webinar slides and everything if you prepare all that before actually doing a webinar it's going to take you a long time to actually do your webinar right and then when you start your webinar you still have to learn the platform you have to learn <coughs> how to get engagement through your chat you're talking how to go through the the slides and and give a good presentation have the right you know way way about it right you still have to learn all of that <coughs> but the thing is that you won't learn those things until you start doing the webinar so you know what's better right is it better to 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 prepare everything before you take action and that way you're not you're not being um well, how can I put it you're not you're not learning the other parts that you're going to need to learn any, anyways right so if you take action right now and you're not fully prepared at least you're going to be learning the webinar platform you're going to be able to technology you're going to be learning about issues with with uh getting uh, how to figure out how many rooms are on there uh, how to figure out how the setting up the webinar platform this the, the, all that all those things right you're going to be learning all those things so I mean that's that's just the habits uh, preparation and taking action both of them are important so yes you need to prepare some things but you also need to take action if you don't take action it's just it just doesn't have the same imp it it's well like I said it's it's it really doesn't matter whether you take action or whether you take you do spend a whole ton of prep preparation time in in the in the end right after a year two years or whatever whether you prepared a whole lot or whether you did a lot of webinars one or the other <laughs> you're still gonna most likely end up at the same level because you're taking action but you do need to take action if you if you prepare for a year and you're not doing your webinar say you're preparing for a, your, your webinar slides and everything and you spend the whole year preparing it all because you don't actually have you don't have that much time and maybe you have just an hour a week so you're preparing your maybe well let's just say you have let's say you have five hours a week like me I have about five hours a week maybe 10 if on the weekends I, <coughs> I'm able to spend some time but let's say I have five hours a week in those five hours I could do a webinar which is two hours and then I'd have three hours to do some preparation right so three uh, let's say it takes I don't know 50 hours to prepare a webinar that's really just a week's work right if you're working 40 hours a week right so let's just say it takes 50 hours to prepare your webinar and you only have uh you know five hours right so that would mean it would take you 10 weeks to prepare your webinar right and not do one webinar yet after that it's going to take you maybe 10 weeks before you learn the platform right so you're 20 weeks before you are comfortable and you got your webinar set up right so we're talking 20 weeks let's say instead you start taking you start your webinar right away you do you spend just two hours to do a very basic slide setup and you start your webinar okay your webinar is not going to be perfect your your slides aren't going to be right your emails aren't going to be right nothing's going to be right but you're starting to learn the platform right so you start to post you start to do your webinars every week well after five weeks you'll have you'll have only three hours right a week say for do, doing the math right you only have three hours a week so you're going to be doing it's going to take you 15 weeks to get your webinar ready and after so that means that during that time during those 15 weeks you're going to get um, you're going to become a master of the webinar platform and you're going to have your webinar ready right so after 15 weeks instead of 20 right so you're saving some time by taking action right away even though you're not perfect and and yes you might lose some customers because the ones that see your webinar in the beginning might not come back but really like I said that's that's really not a big deal because you do, there's millions of people out there they can all uh they can all you know like I said they can all be you you'll have other customers don't worry about the five ten people and plus those five ten people that see your thing that might say oh that's this not for me I don't understand they might come back later because you're going to be online you're going to be continuously there you're going to be posting content you're going to be doing webinar every week they're going to see that you're there eventually they might come back right and be like well I guess I didn't I didn't hear it right and they might because your message is going to be updated over time right 
so yeah so that's the difference preparation versus taking action is it more important one or, or the other not really I think you got to be taking action as soon as you can because preparation can last forever so just take the action even if you're not 100 ready take the action uh that's my recommendation and for me it's just spend as as little time as you can on preparation before you take action so that you're you can actually start to learn the what it takes to to be there right hopefully that helped and we'll see you in the next episode this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon, until next time...